Shalom, Israel, Most High Christ blessed, man. You got another 15 minutes with the captains. I'm Captain Hoshaya. Shalom, Officer Gidron. Hey, y'all, this dissect the Christianity part six. Romans 8, no condemnation in Christ. Hey, look, a lot of y'all Christians like to pull this on us and count. Oh, no, it ain't no condemnation in Christ if you believe in Christ. All you have to do is believe and say his name, and you won't be condemned. Let's go to Romans 8, and let's show you what this talking about. Get Romans chapter 8. Let's start in verse 1. The book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 1. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. So, hey, you Christians are correct. It's no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. But hey, it's something y'all forgot though. Read. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. It said who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Let's see what the flesh is. Galatians chapter 5. Galatians chapter 5. Let's start at verse 16. In verse 16. Listen to this. God wants y'all Christians to understand this. And I'm talking to you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. You are God's chosen people. You were in captivity. You was colonized. Why? Because you broke the commandments of God. Read. This I say then. Walk in the spirit. Walk in the spirit. What is he talking about? He's talking about walk in the spirit of Christ. Let's prove that. Because remember it says no condemnation to them. They walk after the spirit and not after the flesh. Get that in 1 Peter chapter 2. Let's see what spirit is talking about you're supposed to walk in. 1 Peter 2 verse 21. 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 21. For even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. Christ left us an example that you should follow his steps. Steps, that you should walk in his ways, that you should walk in his spirit. Read on. Who did no sin. He didn't do no sin, read. Neither was God found in his mouth. Let's see what sin is now for you Christians. First John chapter 3, verse 4. First John chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the transgression of the law. Now, I know people are going to be like, hey, that was his own understanding. Oh, man, they didn't say walk as he walked. Uh, let's get, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, matter of fact, go and go right back to Galatians 5 real quick. Verse 16. The book of Galatians chapter 5 and verse 16. Then, this I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So he said, walk in the spirit. Talking about walk in the spirit of Christ. Read on. For the flesh lusted against the spirit. So it said, your flesh fights against your spirit. Read on. And the spirit against the flesh. And these things are contrary one to the other. You hear that? They cut your head one to the other. So your spirit is fighting against your flesh. You know what I'm saying? And your flesh fights against your spirit. Your spirit is telling you not to eat pork. But your flesh is saying pork tastes good. Your spirit is telling you not to commit fornication. But your flesh is telling you fornication is good. Your spirit is telling you not to celebrate Christmas. It's idolatry. But your flesh is saying, it ain't nothing wrong with Christmas gifts and being with the family and eating food. But the Spirit is saying, it is not good. Read on. These are contrary the one to the other, so that you cannot do the things that you would. So your flesh fights against your spirit so you can break God's commandments. And your spirit fights against your flesh so you can keep God's commandments. Read. But if you be led of the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now, this is talking about you are not under the law of sacrifice if you be led in the spirit of Christ. Why? Because Christ came and died from your sin. With his blood, you are redeemed. Read. And let, now, let's prove this. The next verse is going to prove what it's talking about. Remember, it's no condemnation in Christ who walk in, after the spirit and not after the flesh. Remember, walking after the spirit is talking about Walking in the spirit of Christ. Mom said, get that in 1 John chapter 1, just in case. Verse 7. 1 John chapter 1 and verse 7. 
But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, because Christ is in the light, read, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. So what is the light? Proverbs 6, verse 23. We already dealt with this before. But I see I have to take you back there again. I got to remind you again. I got to keep it on your head. Read. Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 23. But the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light. Hear that the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light. Read on. And reproof of instruction are the way of life. So we won't go back to 1 John 1 and 7, read. 1 John chapter 1 and verse 7. But if we walk in the light. If we walk in the law, read. As he is in the light. Because he was in the law, Christ did no sin. He didn't break God's commandments, read. We have fellowship one with another. We have fellowship one with another, read. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Only if we walking in the light. Only if we walking in the spirit. Only if we walking as he walked. So now go right back to where you was at. Galatians chapter 5. Verse 19. Verse, Start at 18 again so they won't say we was running. Read. In verse 18. But if you be led of the Spirit, but if you led in the Spirit, if you walking in the laws, if you walking in the Spirit of Christ, keeping the commandments, read. Ye are not under the law. You are not under the law of sacrifice no more. Read on. Now, the works of the flesh are manifest. Now remember, Romans 8 and 1, there is no condemnation to them that walk in the Spirit and not after the flesh. Now we're about to deal with what the works of the flesh is. Read. Which are these. Adultery. Adultery. Guess what? It's laws that pertain to adultery. Read on. Fornication. If you walk, if you, if you, if you, uh, it's laws that pertain to fornication. Read. Uncleanness. It's laws that pertain to uncleanness. If you're walking after the flesh, meaning if you're in the midst of a dollar, I mean uh, fornication, adultery, uncleanness. Read. Lasciviousness. It's laws that pertain to lasciviousness. Read. Idolatry. It's law that pertain to idolatry. Read. Witchcraft. Witchcraft. Hatred. Variance. Emulation. Wrath. Strife. Seditions. Heresies. Envyance. Murders. Drunkenness. Revelance. And such like. Of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past. Read. That they which do such things. If you do such things, it's laws that pertain to this. Read shall not inherit the kingdom of God. You will not inherit the kingdom of God. Simple as that. Go right back to Romans chapter 8, verse 1. The book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 1. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh. You can't walk after the flesh. You can't walk after the dutch. You can't walk out the fornication. You can't commit, let me, let me rephrase that. You can't commit adultery. You can't commit fornication. You can't commit uncleanness. You can't commit idolatry, seditions, heresies, strife. You can't have hatred for your brothers. If you're walking after the flesh, read on. Dirty. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh. If you're walking after the flesh, you're going to be condemned. Read. But after the spirit. You got to walk after the spirit. You got to walk as he walked. He walked in the light, not in darkness. Not in darkness. Go right back to Galatians 5. In verse 20. Read that again. Galatians chapter 5 and verse 20. Idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulation, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in times past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So if you walk out of the flesh, you are not going to inherit the kingdom of God. So you're right. It is no condemnation for those that's walking out of the spirit. But if you're in the midst of adultery, fornication, strife, rice, envy, murders, drunkenness, variance, you are not getting the kingdom. It's simple as that. Verse 22. Verse 22. 
but the fruit of the Spirit is love. What is love? 1 John 5 and 3. Keep it the commandments. Read. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith. The commandments teach you all of these. When you're walking in the commandments, that's how you display the fruit of the Spirit. Read. Meekness, temperance. Against such, there is no law. Meaning there is no judgment. Nobody can't judge you if you got the fruits of the Spirit. Nobody can't judge you or condemn you if you're walking in the Spirit of Christ. If you're walking in the Spirit and not after the flesh. With that, y'all, we're going to say Shalom. Most High Christ bless. This is another 15 minutes with the captains. Shalom. Now you will see the true men of God. We are not black men. We are the Israelites. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.